right uh, a lot of people are curious about uh, my studio uh, location of my studio is in my backyard and uh, I uh, when I moved to this house uh, I like to have a studio so I have someone uh, uh, build it for me and uh, the size is it's kind of small it's not a fancy studio uh, it's only uh, 12 feet and uh, 18 feet 12 by 18 so that's the uh, inside uh, let me use the uh, wide angle mode so. right so here's the inside of my studio uh, on the right hand side it's a sink uh, yeah, I prefer to have water access, so uh, when I'm building the uh, studio, I request to have a, um, a sink and water access. It's easier to uh, clean up without going too far away. And then here uh, I have a uh, portable air condition. And in the summertime, it, it helps a lot to cool down a bit. And my wedging table, just a simple table. Um, I put the drywall here so that uh, I could wedge on top of it. And also I have a couple uh, drywall underneath of the table so that I'm drying the uh, recycled clay. And some uh, clay storage underneath of the table. And here is my pack meal. Uh, my suggestion, if you are serious about uh, doing pottery uh, in the long run, you might want to have a pack meal. Uh, I used to have uh, another one that is a little bit larger, but it was uh, aluminum barrel. And since I'm working on porcelain, uh, it get uh, kind of a pitted of uh, some kind of a crystal inside the clay body and which bothers me so I uh, replaced with a, a new one and this one is a uh, stainless steel barrel um, it's much nicer um, for the, the old one I actually when I bought it I think I bought about thirty five hundred dollars and then uh, after 20 years of uh, using it I sell that one for two thousand dollars I think so it's a uh, it's not bad a uh, uh, investment that is save save me a lot of effort and then I still uh, have a, a, a re, uh, resale value so uh, my suggestion for you in the long run if you want to do uh, serious about uh, doing pottery you might want to get one Okay. All right, and here is my shelving space here for the uh, glaze storage and also the uh, rack for drying the pots. Um, two uh, wheels, two brain wheels, and when I uh, build people build this studio I would prefer to have uh, easy cleanup so I have them uh, install a ceramic tile so it's easy to uh, clean up vacuum and then uh, mop it right so that's the uh, from inside to look it out look to the outside So here's the uh, setup for shooting the video. Uh, people are curious about uh, how I shoot uh, from a 
it will view uh, one from the top and one from the side so this is my setup and uh, I use uh, just a cell phone to shoot the videos and uh, one this one here uh, I put it on the right hand side to shoot and then uh, the other one is hanging over so on top so I have two different angles to uh, shoot the video and here is the very simple way to uh, build up uh, uh, the uh, over top hanging over uh, shooting to hang the uh, cell phone so that's the uh, on the bottom here you see that the very uh, bottom there uh, it's uh, a pen bucket and uh, just filled with cement okay concrete so uh, and this is a two by two two by two um, before you uh, pour the concrete concrete in the uh, bucket you might want to use a nail to nail some uh, on the uh, inside of that so that uh, uh, when you are carrying the uh, two by two it's not uh, going to uh, pull it out okay you won't be able to pull it up because the uh, the, uh, the uh, nail is holding inside and then I uh, just get another uh, piece of uh, wood there and here and here is the uh, selfie stick I just tied it okay cable tied it to tie it here and here is the uh, cell phone that you can hang the cell phone here and extendable okay this is extendable so uh, it's a very uh, simple and easy way to uh, get the, uh, the top view from the top. Okay, so that's the uh, setup. Right, the setup for my uh, studio. And uh, again, the uh, size of uh, this studio is 12 by 18 feet okay 12 feet by 18 feet uh, I would prefer to uh, if I would I would do it again I probably would make it into 18 by 18 it's a, a little bit bigger because uh, nowadays uh, I got other uh, people who came over my studio and they want to learn from me um, sometimes if I have um, more than three people want to uh, learn from me uh it's a little bit too crowded here because this, these are all the people who came over and do the uh private lessons with me i have more than that but uh, the ball is only this big so all right so just uh briefly introduce my studio so that if you want to do your own studio set up your own studio that might be uh, something that you could uh, consider it Alright, I hope this information helped you. Uh, during this uh, pandemic, uh, a lot of people are interested to have their own studio. So I thought I'd just give you some idea or some information. Alright, see you next time.